In my last video, I talked all about how the bear run was the fastest mana farm, but since then we figured out a way to double if not triple the efficiency. And this video is only made possible due to the efforts of Half-Blood Nerd. When it comes to Forgotten Runiverse, he is the best theory crafter I know, and he's discovered a way to kill the bear in only 40 seconds. Stick around to find out how. The first issue with the original bear run is the downtime. On average, it takes around 45 seconds for the bear to respawn. That's just wasted time. Instead, while you wait for the bear to respawn, you can fight this pink slime. You can easily kill this mob for some extra materials and get back in time before the bear spawns. And if you follow the build guide later in this video, you'll be fast enough and strong enough to take down two different mob enemies before the bear respawns. Both the bird mob and the slime mob drop green and blue materials. Now you will need blue, green, and purple materials in order to craft the spell Stolen Swiftness, but the bear actually drops twice as many purple materials materials as you need. So this alone already doubles the efficiency, because if you're not fighting those little mobs, then you're going to have a huge surplus of purple materials. Now let's talk about player location. In order to do this right, you need to have each party member in a specific area of the map. One player should be standing directly on top of the bear spawn, while one player stands to the south by the slime spawn, and another player to the right of him near the bird. And the last player is standing far to the left of the bear spawn. In case one of the battles goes too long and you miss the spawn, that player is there to chase down the bear quickly if needed. Remember, speed is key. If this is done right, there should be no waiting time in between battles. Now, let's talk about gear and spells. And for this build guide, I introduce to you Half-Blood Nerd. Half-Blood Man, thank you for coming on the channel. Let's talk about this 40 second bear kill build. Okay, so uh, let's jump right in talking about the gear because this is actually the key feature of the whole 40 seconds bear kill. So basically what you're aiming for is brutal strength, might. For this, the Kurama demon armor is the best one because not only is Polygon 1, it has also two strength affixes that gives you a strength percentage. Additional to the demon armor, you have the scythe, which is like a pure might strength weapon. To have a little bit more speed, you have to wear the storm crown to gain like additional speed. Speed is very important when it comes to speed farming. The Paragon and, 2 also gives you a very nice uh, strength buff as well. Exactly. I mean, luckily my helmet has uh, a golden border, like this is like a max stat for the Paragon 2. So. I got pretty lucky with this. Um, keep in mind that everyone in the party has to wear this gear. So everyone strikes with almost the same strength. So this is the gear set. And now let's move to what every player is going to cast. 98% of the players are going to use the same spells. The cantrip is one of the most powerful out there because it also shoots damage to two random targets, which is necessary because the bear usually taunts, so you cannot really target the two little monsters in front of him. So by shooting the cantrip party snappers, you get a bunch of damage to those little monsters in front of him as well. The second spell that everyone is going to use is Ice Spear. This is like the most powerful single target magical damage spell, which also uses uh, Frostbite for a little debuff. So the third spell slot is going to be the heat wave and the tremor. Only one player is going to use the tremor. So tremor does um, stagger to all enemies. Stagger means they are more vulnerable to damage and also it does physical damage. The three other players are going to have the heat wave, which deals a great amount of physical damage to all minions. And the last spell slot is going to be our finisher, the violent dismissal. It's very important to know that you never use the dismissal when the bear is at full health or doesn't reach his 50%. Yeah, yeah so don't use violent dismissal when they're above 50% HP. Right, right. So the moment you see that his um, HP bar goes from green to another color, every player has to click on this violent dismissal. And usually the bear gets killed immediately. Now, it's pretty important to talk about what actually to do when you approach the bear. Like attack uh, order and, and which spell to use first? 
Right, so before the fight starts, just click on the bear so you know that you're targeting the bear. The first spell you're using is the AoE. So you're casting three heat waves and one tremor. It's not a given that the stagger effect of the tremor is going to hit, but on average it will trigger. So you start with the AoE. Uh, in the second round, everyone puts their ice bear into the bear. Then you have to use your cantrip a few times. Usually he gets uh, a little bit under 50% of his HP. And then you're going to spam uh, your finisher, the violent dismissal, and he's gone. So you only have to deal with the two little monsters in front of you. And you can click on any spell you want. They will go like in, in the blink of an eye. And this is usually done between 40 and 50 seconds. That's pretty much it. I hope this helps everyone. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to follow me on Twitter or shoot me a message and I will do my best to get back to everyone. Awesome. Thank you, Half-Blood. This is great. I think, uh, I think people are going to really love it. I appreciate you. Thanks, brother. And there you have it, the fastest method of farming the bear. Make sure to give Half-Blood Nerd a follow on Twitter. He definitely deserves it for putting in all this work. Now I'll leave you with some time-lapse footage of our bear run earlier today.